Our tobacco cases are really based upon the fact that the tobacco industry knew that nicotine in cigarettes was addictive, going back to the 1940s and 1950s, yet they denied it. The tobacco companies went in front of Congress in 1994, and the executives all raised their right hand and said, nicotine is not addictive, and that was a lie. So our tobacco cases involve people who have developed primarily lung cancer who are addicted to cigarettes. And the cases are based upon the fact that the tobacco companies designed the cigarettes to be more addictive than they even needed to be. And in the cases, we have presented evidence that the tobacco companies knew how much nicotine had to be delivered in a cigarette to make it addictive and to make it most addictive and that they made sure they designed the cigarette in a way that delivered an addicting level of nicotine, even though they could have designed the cigarette in a way that wasn't safe, but it was at least safer. And under the law, a product manufacturer has to make the product that is as safe as possible. So it's a, that type of deception, that type of concealment that has made many of our tobacco cases successful in front of juries.